don't do drugs. It's the message kids hear all the time. But more and more young people are picking up another dangerous habit, taking medicine that is legal but is just as harmful and deadly. As Fox 8's Leah Biano reports, many teens don't realize they're taking a prescription for trouble. They might not be able to get drugs off the street. I think it's kind of getting new and more popular. It's probably pretty easy to get drugs anywhere. The drugs these high schoolers are talking about are not the kind most parents expect. We're talking about prescription drugs and why teenagers have it in their heads. Popping pills is somehow safer than street drugs. It's like, you can get it, your mom has it, so it must be okay if your mom can do it. Lots of kids, what they would do is if they took Adderall or Ritalin or something, they just, I mean, when they didn't need it, they just take it and they take excess of it. All three teenagers from East Forsyth High School we talked to say they've never abused prescription drugs. Mina Cook, a counselor with the Partnership for a Drug-Free North Carolina, says they know more about this type of abuse than they realize. Teens across the nation, their knowledge of and their savviness in terms of the names of prescription drugs, even though he wasn't using and didn't know anyone who was, he was still able to rattle off. Well, I know that sometimes people abuse Vicodin or Xanax or Adderall or Ritalin, and so the fact that that's in their vocabulary is kind of alarming. Dave Marley says several years ago, pharmacists like himself and doctors used to be the only people who knew the names of behind-the-counter medicines. But with more aggressive advertising, teenagers can't help but soak it all in. Now you've got this culture where everybody thinks there's a pill for every ill. Cook says abuse and perception around prescriptions varies from school to school. To hear these students say they don't have friends attending farming parties is a good thing, but it doesn't mean it's not happening. I'm sure that if you selected at random, you know, several other students, you may or may not get the same answer. According to the Partnership for a Drug-Free North Carolina, about one in every 10 teens in our state admits to abusing prescription painkillers within the past month. While that may not be the case here at East Forsyth High School, the trend is growing at an alarming rate because it only takes one time to kill someone. They have no appreciation for just how potent these medicines are and may not realize that one pill may be too many. Experts agree the best prevention is keeping a close eye on your medicine, get rid of what you don't need, and talk to your teens. The only way to really know whether or not this is becoming, at this moment, a bigger issue in Forsyth County schools would be um, probably for parents to ask students, so what have you heard about it? You know, my hope is that it's not a huge issue yet. Leah Bino, Fox 8 News. Additional information such as top 10 ways teenagers sneak drug use past their parents and tips to help parents talk to their kids about this type of drug abuse is available online at myfoxwghp.com. The information is linked to this story in the Scene on TV section of our website. Parents face another drug threat. This one illegal. Teenagers know it as Strawberry Quick, Smurf, Popcorn. It can hook them like that. Learn why parents need to know about this powerful candy-flavored meth and how dealers are trying to push it on children. It doesn't... Drugs disguised as candy. New tonight, as Fox 8 found out, it's quickly becoming a problem in the Piedmont. Its target is teens. Its use is deadly. See why this substance that looks like candy is headed our way. This is all about packaging. This is all about the gimmick. Speaking of meth, drug dealers have a new way to try and get your kids hooked on it. We're talking about candy-flavored methamphetamine, a drug that's making its way to the Piedmont. New tonight, Fox 8's Karen Myers tells us where this new drug is coming from and how you can spot it. Drug dealers are smart. They're, they're creating flavored uh, products, and they're also making the unit dose cheaper. An old drug is being sold under a new guise. No, the flavors of chocolate and vanilla and even some peanut butter are not just flavors of ice cream anymore. They're the flavors of crystal meth. Chocolate, cola, berry, strawberry, of course. Yeah, the, the reality is that we've got a new way of marketing 
the product, and it needs to be an alarm for the viewers. In the past few years, since the Attorney General took the supplies to make crystal meth off the shelf, dealers have become even more crafty, luring teens with flavored methamphetamine imported from super labs in Central America and Mexico. The whole deal is this is all about marketing. This is all about packaging. This is all about the gimmick and what dealers and you know, cookers and everybody, what they're trying to do is target that younger demographic. And while the drug looks less harmful, appearing to be more like candied pop rocks, it's just as addictive. It can hook them like that. Coretta Patterson is the mother of two teens. How old are your kids? 15 and 17. She's never heard of candied flavored meth, but understands the increased risk. It shouldn't be like this, cause kids, it'll die from it. Meth is typically brown or white with a taste that addicts call bitter. What young people need to know is whether it's flavored like strawberries or chocolate, a drug is a drug and is harmful. And the best choice is to make a choice not to try it. In Winston-Salem, Karen Myers, Fox 8 News. Some of the street names of candy meth are strawberry quick, smurf, and popcorn. The drugs can be smoked, snorted, or taken orally. Here in North Carolina, we spend $12 billion a year fighting drug abuse.